Hi. Today I will be teaching how to deploy your workflow on Comfy Deploy. Table of contents are first we will look at the platform, what its features are. Second we will uh, try to know how does it work. And finally, once we deploy our workflow, we will try to access the workflow via the API. So first look at the platform. The platform name is Comfy Deploy. And once you log in, you will see multiple options as a menu. You can see your workflows. You can see your machines. Then you have your API keys. Then you have storage. Some existing examples. Then their pricing is presented. Uh, they have also identified different uh, parameters according to which you can measure your existing usage. And finally, they have provided their documentation. So I have deployed my workflow. Uh, so let's see one of my example that I have already executed on the platform. <coughs> Once you have successfully deployed your workflow, you will be able to run it through their uh, workflow dashboard but also you can deploy it and once you have deployed it you can uh, access it via javascript api and or c url in my scenario i'm using uh, node.js fetch and i have converted this code into python so i'm using python to uh, run my workflow and also to check its status and once the workflow has completed I will download my generated image. So let's see. I have created a workflow that takes an input image of a gray structure that is uh, a structure which is not complete and I have given it a style image and in my workflow I am using IP adapter and different other methods to create an output image that is like a finished output of the gray structure so my workflow applies the theme or uh, the style on the gray structure and creates an output image that can be used for prototyping or can be used in the ideation stage Uh, when you execute the workflow via API it takes around on average in my scenario 3 to 5 or 3 to 6 minutes and they are priced based on seconds so if you go to pricing you will be able to see that you can pay $20 and uh, you will get 3 uh, 30,000 seconds for free and after they are finished you can pay per second so meanwhile let me load my comfy UI and I will show how <coughs> we can deploy it a workflow into their platform because I have already uh, deployed my checkpoint files so I will be using Copex timeless checkpoint version 10 as my stable diffusion excel model you can see here it is copex checkpoint and uh, this is the default workflow that you will see when you launch comfy UI. so before i convert this into or before i deploy it on uh, 
comfy deploy i will first execute the example how it works is you need a custom node uh, so let us come back to the manager in the manager you will be able to see there is a node called comfy deploy although my workflow is executing so it's better to wait for a while once it's complete i will show which checkpoint to install let it finish before i do any installation testing what i will be doing is i will convert this input text into an api so the api will load this checkpoint and will receive the text from uh, api call and then will generate the output in order to deploy it as an api you need to go to manager then click on install custom node you have to search for deploy and once once you search you will see comfy deploy in my scenario uh, it gives an error so i will fix this error i need to go to my drive i will basically delete because i am using collab google collab and my storage is on google drive so this happens when you launch a uh, comfy ui every time you have to reinstall the custom nodes so i will delete this custom node i will come back to my installation i will search for deploy i will install it and let's wait for its installation to complete i will restart my comfy ui but still it is not showing the deploy button so what i will do i will stop my execution of the comfy ui i will restart basically my comfy ui manually now as you can see we have a deploy button this means that the custom node has been installed properly what i will do next is i will try to connect it with my comfy deploy account but before that i will like to show new components it has it has added to the library so you double click and you just search for deploy you will see external image external text so 
if you put external image and you put this one you connect it as an image you will see api option in comfy deploy so coming back to workflow if you see my workflow and i run my existing workflow the option you see here input image adapter image input text is basically this component if it is an image i have named it input image similarly the image that goes to the ip adapter i have named it as adapter image but in this scenario i will convert this text into an input text and now i'm connecting it so sorry this is the image node i am going to select deploy external text so i have connected it as input text into the text box uh, my checkpoint is the same that is I, that i have already got downloaded in my storage of comfy deploy what i will do next is i will click on deploy it will show the option to log in with comfy deploy so i will just log in using comfy deploy once you grant the access you will uh, see this message you click on confirm and you save the settings after this you click on deploy again it will ask you to name your workflow so this is like hello world of comfy deploy and i confirm it so once i confirm what is happening is it is collecting data from my uh, current state of uh, comfy ui generating the dependency graph and it will create a file that it will push to comfy deploy so based on those uh, settings i have created a serverless machine it will execute this workflow on that serverless machine so it is ready to deploy i just click confirm and it is telling me that it has deployed it on comfy deploy you can see that if i come to my workflows i have hello world workflow here now you can see i have my machine the t4 machine so you can create a serverless machine by yourself like if you want to create you have serverless machine you have custom machine you have to configure Uh, the custom machine based on uh, different custom nodes that you have already used or uh, some other checkpoint details you want to pre-configure during uh, creating a new serverless machine or you can either go for their examples and try to view any workflow from the existing example and you can clone their existing machine so now let's uh, execute our hello world because my experiment is related to word so i will write moon transforming into a blue planet so it has started actually it has not started it is queuing my workflow and uh, once it has started it will take i think around 2 to 3 minutes once you are satisfied with your uh, output image you can simply click on deploy and it will be deployed as an api and then you can get your details and you can use javascript node js or python to connect with your uh, api calls your api keys are present in this tab so i will not be showing because i want to hide my api keys 
the workflow has executed in 38.5 seconds and let us see what the output image is so you can see that moon transforming into a blue giant blue planet so open image in a new tab so you can see the output this is how you deploy your workflow on comfy deploy and then you create an api and based on the input parameters you can execute your uh, workflow let me give example of my you can see that uh, your input parameters are here so these you have to provide while executing the api call if you have used uh, an external image you first need to upload your image to some online storing platform online storage platform and then you pass the web link of the image into your input image and your text and then it will generate the output so that is all for comfy deploy i hope that this has taught you enough and if you have any other question you can feel free to contact me my details are in the description thank you